Chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với phần tiếp theo của chương trình Đồng tiền thông minh trên kênh FBNC với cuộc trò chuyện cùng ông Sami Kitali là tổng giám đốc của Pastor Việt Nam để lắng nghe những chia sẻ của ông về đất nước, con người Việt Nam cũng như là những chiến lược kinh doanh tại một đất nước mà ông đã xem là quê hương thứ hai của mình. We have talked a lot about the success and the achievements of Pep Steel, but how about the other side, the challenges? Challenges really is uh, being able to maintain the same quality that we have provided over the 19 years period. This is a challenge. More so when uh, you have a growth of 64%. <laughs> That's amazing. This is not a joke. That's amazing number. Yeah, when I think yeah. about it, from 2012, which already had a growth of 32% and 16%, 16, 17, 64. So now you have to make sure that you keep your customers happy. Pep Steel is known in the industry. It has uh, the best customer service. And really, we say we can't spell success without you, <laughs> you, the customer. Okay. Our, sec our customer service is really second to none in the industry. We listen to our customer and we uh, try to be flexible. This is another thing. And I, I want to see what is your requirement. Is it time? Is it budget? Is it uh, quality? I need to meet the customer. Listen carefully and try to deliver what you want. We don't have ready-made formulas for everybody. We don't take mm -hmm. the product. So the challenge now We're already starting 2014 mm -hmm. with the business that's keeping us busy for another several months. Okay. It's a secret to say how many, but <laughs> for several months. We already have the momentum. Okay. People are coming to us. Our factory, it was 25% in the first six months of the year, but now the growth in the second half of the year is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Our factories are full. We are working full blast but we're still maintaining this one shift thing. So what do you expect to see in terms of the big picture of this Brie engineer still building uh, industry as Vietnam is getting more open to the world? Okay. Well, I don't hear about many uh, world players, pre engineer building companies coming. What I hear actually is one of the, our competitors might close down and leave because okay. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing in the market. But now uh, there are many Vietnamese companies on a small scale, maybe a couple on a big scale, producing pre-engineered buildings. So anybody who has to think of coming into the market, he has to take this into consideration. The operational costs of a Vietnamese company are smaller than the operational costs of a, an international player. So before coming here, think twice, remember one thing, Doing business in Vietnam is not like doing business anywhere else. I always say <laughs> Vietnam is not for the faint-hearted. What was your biggest lesson? <laughs> <laughs> I've always said Vietnam is not for the faint-hearted, and Vietnam appears easy to people from the outside. Sure. I remember the story of a company five years ago. They wanted to come to Vietnam, 2007, actually. That's the time, six years ago. They thought it's so easy. They did not realize that you cannot export systems and apply them here in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Many of my competitors lack the local expertise. They lack the experience. Mm -hmm. They bring managers from faraway places with systems that work in other countries. And they think they're going to apply it here in Vietnam and it will work. Mm -hmm. The reality tells them, no, sorry, you cannot do it here. You have to do it the Vietnamese way of doing business. And this is what we learned over sure. the year. You, to be successful, you have to do it the Vietnamese way. To do it the Vietnamese way, local staff is very important for Pep Steel. And for Sami, attracting and retaining local talents is always a big challenge. Even though Pep Steel has one of the lowest labor turnover in the industry, the turnover rates are different for each level of staff, such as average staff, average workers or heads of departments. At Pep Steel, Sami always tried to maintain a family atmosphere. He said his doors are always open. Staff can come and talk to him anytime, or even send him a text message and he reply right away. 
Everybody is a part of a big family. Sami want them to enjoy the working experience, and he makes sure the company is helping the staff improve themselves. He joked that his staff is like his children, and they always deserve the best. The vast majority of Pep Steel staff are Vietnamese. Less than 1% are foreigners at certain department's functions. He believes the staff are the ones who are running the company. Besides work, there are always parties, picnics, company events, after-work activities, overseas trips to build a strong staff relationships. Any staff member can apply for training subsidy, and the company contributes 50% of anything they want to study. To deal with the country's high inflation rate over the past few years, Sami makes sure that everyone's earning got company support. We have, over the last 19 years, maintained a record. Every single year, we give a salary increase. This is my promise wow. to my staff. It's good to hear, that's employee. 19 years, including the Asian financial crisis of 1997, 98, 99. Again, people cutting costs, reducing salaries. No. We believe you have to, you know, you need to cut, catch up with inflation to start with. Wow. You know, in the 2009, That's 10, 11, there was, uh, you know. Every year. Every year. For those of my staff who are listening, there's going to be a generous salary increase for 2014. Oh, that's amazing. Can I apply to your company? <laughs> <laughs>
offer you. Okay. We'll Customer do it. Customer can call you anytime. Yeah, yeah. Anytime. Late at night, anytime. Early at in the morning. At night, I am available <laughs> uh, 366 days. I keep my phone next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Quý vị vừa lắng nghe những chia sẻ của ông Sami Katali, tổng giám đốc của Pep Steel Việt Nam. Hy vọng quý vị đã có những thông tin bổ ích liên quan đến ngành sản xuất nhà thép tiền chế, cũng như là những bài học về kinh doanh, những triết lý quản trị của Sami Katali, một người đã gắn bó rất lâu với Việt Nam và có một tình cảm đặc biệt dành cho đất nước này. Đến đây thì chương trình Đồng Tiền Thông Minh xin được khép lại. Một lần nữa cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi. Quý vị có thể xem lại chương trình trên trang web đồng tiền thông minh fbnc.com hoặc facebook.com/đồng tiền thông minh. Thân ái chào tạm biệt.